Hey everyone, I'm your average guy Sahil Gogna. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be very important for the IT aspirants because in today's video, we are going to discuss some of the important points related to the industry. The first one is about the impact of COVID-19 and the impact of more students coming to Canada on the job market. And then we are going to discuss some of the top universities and colleges that you can consider to pursue your master's degree or your IT diploma here in Canada. And also we are going to discuss some of the top provinces and some of the top job profiles that you can consider after your graduation. So without any delay, let's get started. So guys, I was getting a lot of messages over Instagram from a lot of students and they were asking me my opinion on two of the major factors that they feel that might have impact on the jobs in Canada. The first one is COVID-19 and the second one is that a lot of students they are considering Canada to pursue their higher education. So will this have any impact on the job scenario? So the first thing that we should consider is that Canada has a very huge IT industry and it's not going to die soon in the future. So you can always expect a good job market and good number of jobs. So instead of just focusing on whether Canada has a lot of jobs to offer, you should just focus on your skills because the skills will definitely get you a job here. So I would say like rather than stressing yourself whether this country has a lot to offer you or not in terms of number of jobs, you should completely focus your energy on developing the skills and targeting the right job in the job market here in Canada. And there's one major factor that the number of IT jobs have increased in the past and the, that factor is most of the companies now are going remote and now they are looking for a lot of more IT solutions to manage their workforce to make it easy for their employees to work remotely and I think this is the one major factor that has contributed in increasing the number of jobs. So now let's discuss the next factor, which university or which college you should choose, right? Students ask me like if they want to go to a particular province, which university they should consider because a lot of students have no idea about different universities in Canada. So they have just the idea of few of the colleges that they have heard over Instagram or some other social media platforms. So now I'm going to list few of the universities and colleges and I'm not going to consider the very competitive universities like University of Toronto or UBC or McGill University because I know like it's very hard to make into that universities and their admission criteria are very strict. So we are going to discuss few of the universities and I'm not going to rank them. Please beware that. Don't consider it like I'm ranking like this is the number one, this is number two. No, I'm just going to list out few of the names so that you guys have an idea like whenever you're thinking to pursue your masters in Canada, especially related to IT industry. So you should know like which province you should target, which university or college you should target in that particular province. So now if we talk about Ontario on number one, the first one that we are going to talk about is the University of Waterloo. So this university is a very, very competitive university as compared to the other ones that I'm going to list. But still, if you have a strong profile, if you have good CGPA and all the other requirements that are mentioned on the university website, then there are, there's high probability that you will get an offer. And the reason I want to mention this university is because I have met a lot of students over LinkedIn who completed their master's degree from this university and they are working at top corporates. So even if it's like difficult to get into this university, like it assures that you can get a good job in the industry because this university has a very good reputation in the industry. And apart from this university, there are also other good universities that you can consider. Some of them are the Ryerson University, University of Ottawa, Carleton University, University of Windsor. And I know like there are a lot of other universities also, but these are the some of top universities that are very famous among international students. And in case you have any other universities that you would like to add to this list, you can definitely comment down in the comment section. And I might consider these universities to review in, the in my future videos. When it comes to colleges, Ontario has a lot to offer and there are a variety of programs and colleges that you can choose from. And if I have to list some of them, you can consider Centennial College, George Brown College, Seneca College, there's Conestoga, there's Humber College, there's Sheridan College. So my opinion is based upon my network that I have with students from these colleges and the students have very positive review about these colleges and the programs that they are offering and right now they are working with some of the good corporates. So in case you are you are not eligible to make into the good university and you want to choose a college program, you can definitely consider these programs in Ontario province. Now let's talk about the next province which is British Columbia and according to my network and all the students that I have talked with, 
So the two very famous universities are University of Victoria and the Simon Fraser University. Like these are two very popular universities among international students. And if we talk about college, so there's one particular college that I would like to mention and the name of that college is Douglas College. And all the students that I have met from this college, they are working with the great companies. And now let's talk about Quebec. So the one university that I want to mention is Concordia University. It's really, really a great university because it's easier to get an admin from this university. And also this university has one of the most affordable masters that you will ever find in Canada. If you are considering few of the colleges in Quebec, then I would not recommend you guys to choose any of the college in Quebec. The first reason is that in the past, the Quebec government, they banned few of the colleges and there was a list of 10 colleges to which they were not issuing the CAQ. By the way, CAQ is the document that you need to obtain from Quebec government if you are enrolling into any of the college or university in Quebec. And then you have to attach that document to get your visa. So the Quebec government had uh, detected few of the fraud activities on those colleges based on few of the programs. And they gave out the list of 10 colleges which were banned. So the students who were enrolled in those colleges, they were not getting the CAQs and they had paid uh, already paid the fees so this was a lot of inconvenience for the, those students and recently like it's just last month that two of the colleges they abruptly shut down without giving any notice to its students some of the students they were back in India they were still pursuing their degrees and some of the students they were here in Montreal and like right now they have nowhere to go so Montreal colleges have a very bad reputation and in case you are not eligible for a good university and you want to go to a college I would recommend you guys to go choose Ontario province because it has a lot to offer and the college is a very good one and established one in uh, Ontario as compared to Quebec. So please never ever consider Quebec if you are uh, coming to a college. Now let's talk about Alberta. The other good university that you can consider is the University of Alberta. I know like there are a lot of other universities also but till this point I have just my uh, connections in this university so I can definitely tell you guys like this is a good university and in my upcoming videos I am going to explore few more universities which are from this province and if you have any suggestion again you can mention down in the comment section below and after this university I want to talk about an underdog province which is Nova Scotia. Not a lot of people know about this province that much. They think that this province has not to offer a lot in terms of education and in terms of the job market, right? But there are two very good universities that you can find here which is Dalhousie University and St. Mary University which is very popular among international students and especially the students who want to pursue their masters related to the computer science. So these universities have variety of programs to offer which you can consider and also there's one community college here in Nova Scotia which is called Nova Scotia Community College and this is also very famous among the international students. So till this point of time we have discussed about the scope of IT industry, the top colleges and universities that you can consider for your master's program and your diploma program. And now we are going to discuss the top provinces. So the first one that we need to consider is Ontario. And if we talk about the different cities, the first one is Toronto in Ontario. And Toronto is the hub of not only for IT jobs, but any of the job market or any of the job sector that you are looking for. But yeah, if we talk about specifically about IT industry, so a lot of big companies, they have their offices in Toronto and especially in the GTA region, which is greater Toronto area. And there are some cities which are nearby Toronto region, which has seen a tremendous growth in number of jobs. And one of them is Mississauga. So whenever I go to LinkedIn or some of the other job finding platforms, so you will definitely get a lot of job listing from this city, which is Mississauga. And apart from this, Kitchener Waterloo has seen a lot of growth in past couple of years. And now Google has their office established in that city. So you can have an idea like how the city is growing when it comes to the IT industry. So one another city that you can consider is Ottawa in Ontario and not a lot of big companies have their of offices established in Ottawa but there are a lot of small size or the mid size companies which have their offices in Ottawa so you can definitely check out the job listings in the, in the city. So now let's talk about the another province which is British Columbia and in that you can consider Vancouver as your number one city because Vancouver has a lot of jobs to offer and it has almost equal number of jobs as compared to Toronto. But there's one major factor due to which the professionals they consider Toronto over Vancouver is the living cost as well as in future if you want to buy your house. So it's harder to afford a house in Vancouver area as compared to uh, Toronto area even though the prices are shooting up in Toronto also but yeah. When, it, when we compare these two cities, so living in Toronto is a little bit cheaper as compared to living in Vancouver. Again, like Vancouver is a great city and there are a lot of big companies that have their offices there. And if we talk about Quebec and, and especially Montreal, there are a lot of big companies and Montreal has seen a tremendous growth in AI and ML jobs in past couple of years and especially due to a lot of new startups that are emerging in that area. So few of the jobs might require you to have proficiency in French because 
they might be the customer facing jobs so let's say you're like you are in an IT company and you have direct interaction with the client and the client is Montreal based or Quebec based and they just speak French then there it's compulsory for you to know French but again like a lot of companies are flexible to this out of 10 there will be eight of the jobs that you can easily get without knowing the French but two of the jobs which are very specific in which you have to interact directly with the customer in that case you might need to be proficient in French and another reason Montreal is very popular among the IT aspirants or the IT professionals is because the living cost is relatively cheaper when we compare it with Toronto or with Vancouver. So this is the one major factor that you can also consider while looking for a company in these three big cities. Now let's talk about the last province which is province of Nova Scotia and especially I would like to mention Halifax because in the past few years and especially in the COVID time this city has seen a tremendous growth in number of job opportunities available for the IT aspirants. The reason is that a lot of startups have started flourishing here in Halifax and the Nova Scotia government is helping a lot of startups to hire people here in Halifax so the jobs have increased a lot so you can definitely consider this city in case you are looking for a good IT job and also there are many mid-sized companies as well as the large corporates which has offices there and if I talk about some of the famous ones they are RBC, there's IBM, there's also CGI so these are one of the biggest companies here in Canada and so you can definitely consider this province if you want to get a good job, IT job here. So now let's discuss about the last point of this video which is which are the top profiles that you can target if you want to get into the IT industry in 2022. So apart from the evergreen profiles which is back-end developer or maybe some other data profiles or maybe the front-end developer, there are two specific profiles or two specific industries that I need to mention here that has seen a tremendous growth due to this ongoing pandemic. The first one is the cloud industry and you can find the jobs or the titles as the cloud analyst, as the cloud engineer or the second one is the uh, cyber security professionals and in case you want to get details about these type of profiles and what's the average salary that you can expect from these profiles and also what are the skills that you need to uh, get a good job i have already made a separate video on this you can definitely go and check out this video so guys this was today's video in which i try to give you an overview about different uh, universities or different uh, provinces that you can consider as the it aspirant and what's the scope of it industry in canada please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like how was this video and also in case you have any request for the video that you would like me to make in future please make sure to mention in the comment section below see you in the next video till then stay safe